Welcome to EasyLM Learning Simplified. My name is Ruth and today we are going to be learning on computer mathematics. Our topic for today is inequalities and our subtopic is the multiplication of inequalities with a negative number. So we were solving our inequalities in our previous lesson. You can go back and check that out. So for this lesson, we are going to be focusing on multiplication with negative values or negative numbers. What does this have? Uh, what effect does this doing this have on the sign of the inequality? So when you are multiplying or dividing by a negative number, it changes the sign. But if you are multiplying or dividing with a positive number, as we did in the previous video, we didn't change any sign. But if we do so with a negative number or a negative sign, then the sign is going to change. If it was greater than, it becomes less than. If it was uh, less than, it becomes greater than. So what is it that I mean when I say this? So for example, in this question, 1 minus 3x is less than 4. Normally when we were solving, first of all, we eliminate the 1s, just like we did in the previous lesson. So we will subtract 1 this side and subtract 1 this side. So that we have 1 minus 1 plus 1 minus 3x is less than 4 minus 1. So this gives us minus 3x, then 4 minus 1 becomes 3. So you notice, unlike uh, from the previous lesson that we discussed, we are going to divide this side by negative 3, divide by negative 3. So as soon as we do that, this gives us x, so we have to change that. Remember we said when you multiply or divide by a negative number, you change the sign directly, which gives you negative 1. So if we do not do this, then our statement becomes false. Let's say, for example, we retain uh, what we had before, which is x is less than negative 1. So if you were to input, if x is less than negative 1, we pick a value that is less than negative 1. Let's take less than negative like negative 2, for example. If we put it in our equation, that is 1 minus 3x is less than 4. If we put x as negative 2, that will be 1 minus 3 into bracket negative 2, which is less than 4. So this is going to be 1 minus minus is plus. 6, this is negative 3 times negative 2, which gives us positive. Remember, we said negative, and negative is positive, which is less than 4, which is 7 is less than 4, which is not true. This cannot be true. That is the reason why every time we divide with a negative number, then our sign must change. And then after that, we represent that in a number line. So in this case, you want any values that are greater than 1 because this is our correct answer. So if we had um, uh, this number line, for example, so we want all the values that are greater than one. So our arrow is going to move in this direction and one is negative one is not part of the value. So we will leave it open. It's not going to be filled completely. So let's look at another example. So we have 6 minus a half x is greater than 12. So let's solve this equation as we did uh, in the previous uh, example. So this is going to be 6 minus a half x is greater than 12. So you are subtract 6 this side and subtract 6, 6, 6 this side. So this is going to be 6 minus 6, then minus a half x, which is greater than 12 minus 6. Be very careful. So this gives us minus a half x, which is greater than 6, because 12 minus 6 is 6. So we have a half x greater than 6. So we are going to multiply by negative 2 over 1, the reciprocal, negative 2 over 1. So this automatically causes us to change the sign from greater than to less than. And then 6 times negative 2 over 1, gives us negative 12. So that is what we have. So all the value of x is less than negative 12. So if you were to look at a number line, for example, we can use the values of 2. So you have 2, 4. So it will be negative 2, negative 4, uh, negative 
a six and then negative eight and then negative ten negative twelve and then negative fourteen and negative sixteen negative eighteen so on so forth so we we'll go where twelve is the values of x are less so our arrow is going to move in this direction and because 12 is not part of it we are going to circle 12 but not fully shade it let's look at another example so we have 3 minus 2x let's repeat that is less than 17 so we are going to subtract 3 from this side and subtract 3 from the other side so this gives us 3 minus 3 minus 2x is less than 17 minus 3. This gives us minus 2x is less than 14 because 17 minus 3 is 14. We divide both sides by minus 2 minus 2. So that makes us change the sign which becomes x which is now greater than minus 7 because minus 2 divided by 14 gives us minus 7. So all our values are going to be greater than negative 7. So if you were to show that, so we'll go to negative 7, where negative 7, so the values are going to be greater. So our arrow goes this way. And the value of 7 is not part of it, since you can see there is no equal sign. Let's do a few more questions. So we have a third minus 2x is less or greater than 8 over a third. So we are going to repeat this question. This is 1 over 3 minus 2x is less or equals to minus 8 and a third. So we are going to subtract a third this side and subtract a third this side. So you have a third minus a third minus 2x is less or equals to minus 8 a third minus a third. That's what we have. So this is going to give us minus 2x is less or greater than minus 8 and a third minus a third. So this is a fraction. You can decide to work it out. So the LCM is 3. So 3. So this is the same as um, 3 times 8, which gives us 24 plus 1 is 25 uh, over 3 minus 1 over 3. So 1, 3 divided by 3, 1. 1 times 25 is minus 25. Minus 3 divided by 3, 1. 1 times 1 is 1, which gives us minus 26 over 3. That's what we have. So minus 2x is less or equal to the 26 minus 26 over 3. So this is, remember, over 1. So we are going to multiply with 1 over negative 2 times 1 over negative 2. Hope you are following. So this negative 2 cancels with this and 1 cancels with this. So x becomes greater or equal. We have changed because we multiplied by the reciprocal of 1, negative 2 over 1. So is negative 26 over 3 times 1 over negative 2. Negative, negative cancels by 2, 1 by 2. Uh, it becomes 13. So x is greater or equals to 13 over 3. So that is what you represent in the number line. And remember, 13 divided by 3 gives us 4.3. So make sure your number line um, has 4.3. So you can present that on your own. And finally, the last question so that you can do a few more practice on your own. So we have this question. You can see it looks like... Um, uh, uh, algebraic question. So we open the brackets. This requires you to do a little bit more work. So 3 times 1 will give us 3. 3 times minus 1 will give us minus 3x. Plus 4 times x, it gives us plus 4x. And plus 4 times plus 3, which gives us plus 12, is greater or equals to that. 
So we put the like terms together, which becomes 3 plus 12 minus 3x plus 4x is greater or, la, la, or equal to 30. This becomes uh, 15 minus 3 plus 4x becomes plus x is greater or equal to 30. So we are going to subtract 15 this side and subtract 15 this side, do not forget. So it's going to be x is greater or equals to 30 minus 15. So this gives us x is greater or equals to 15. You notice I didn't change the sign because there's nowhere we are dividing or multiplying by negative. But you notice you have to do some extra work. So that makes it the end. So you can represent this on a number line. X will be values greater than 15, including 15. So check out more revision questions on the app and also note on the same on the app. So see you in the next uh, lesson.